four is a real speedster and Donaldson was beaming that he put the pressure on the defense and that's the same type of ball Beltre threw it away and he missed it that one as well. Mike Napoli tagged at Donaldson and once again Donaldson with great reaction he sensed Napoli coming off the bag and slid underneath the tag according to Paul Nart first base umpire. There's only one way to play this game and that is to play it hard. This is the game or the, the play that we were talking about in last night's game just a little ground ball of the third base but I watched Donaldson hustle down the line and I think that definitely had something to do with the throw from Beltre because he's very accurate on throws across the diamond. This one took a little tricky, tricky hop at the end and he throws it flat footed again. But the hustle by Donaldson to get down that line. I mean if he's Cadillac and down that line that's an easy play for Napoli to make. He missed him. He missed him I think and watch the the helmets coming off before Napoli swipes at him. That's going to be interesting and they've given it up. Donaldson will be aboard with yes. still got the 10 wins in almost record time. Here is a bunt and a nice play by Holt and they say safe as he missed the tag. Holiday got around it. Out to argue mildly is John Farrell. He's going to walk out slowly and we'll see if we are headed for a review. Well, I love the play. I, it, Tom, I know you're against diving in the first, but if he had dove earlier, he might have got around him. I think he's out. What do you yeah, think? I Joe? think he got him too. What do you think? Well, we won't know until we see this view. I don't think he got Ooh. him. Wow. Ooh. Now remember, Brock Holt, second baseman by trade, switched over to third base out of necessity, and now switched to first base out of necessity. Had never played the position there in his life. These two are out here just killing time until John Farrell hears from the dugout whether to challenge. I, you know, a lot of things going on there with Holt. I, I would say that his lack of a reaction at the safe call tells you more than even the replay. He, he wasn't surprised at all and didn't go immediately to the umpire. And John Farrell is told to not review the play because Holt somehow missed the big body of Brian Holiday going down the line. Boy, Joe, you're, you're dead on it. I mean, he showed up the ball a little bit as a little bit of a deke, but you're absolutely right. He didn't even challenge the fact that he thought he got him out. Yeah. He showed the ball, but the safe call by Adam Hamari, a young umpire at first. Tapper by the mound. Only play is to first and they get bottom. And, and they're calling Billy Hamilton out of second base too. Now he's saying he wasn't tagged. But I believe the second place umpire is ringing up Billy Hamilton. That's Marvin Hudson out there. At least he made the call. Looked like to me he made a call that he was out. Well, I think uh, everybody on the field is wondering the same thing. And now Brian Price will come out and talk to Marvin Hudson to find out exactly if that is a call. And in the process, Brian says, well, well, why don't we just get it reviewed? And that way I don't have to argue since I really don't have any voice left after arguing so long yesterday. Yeah. That shouldn't take long. You're saying he's safe. Yeah. Now, did Billy Hamilton go out of the baseline? You got to ask yourself. The runner has three feet on either side of the baseline that he establishes at the point when he's trying to avoid a tag. So you can run you can run what looks like out of the baseline to a, to uh, avoid a fielder fielding a ground ball like he had to right there. But you're not deemed out of the baseline until you're actually having a play made on you by an attempted at tag. And when Hamilton jumped in the air he basically was blocking the view of the second base umpire who was in the right position there Marvin Hudson. That's what we're being told now from downstairs. All right. Is the ruling on the field was a tag, and now they're saying no, the runner is safe. Listen home. And now Harrison will pop the train second and third. And the heel will run right at him. Harrison will try and stay in a rundown long enough to get Polanco there. Safe. He's still in a rundown. 
And he is still safe. Unbelievable. No way. That's impossible. That is impossible. He could not possibly have done that. He could not possibly have stayed in that run down long enough. The bench can't believe it. Terry Collins can't believe it. Nothing to challenge now. He's used it. We can ask them to look at it. Of course, it's after the seventh. We can ask the umpires to look at it. He got caught. At the very least, Harrison stays in the rundown long enough to get Polanco. And then yet, does he go out of the baseline? I don't think there's any way they overrule this. This is as close as they come to tagging him. Right there. I, I don't think you have a case. It's phenomenal work. Terry Collins probably isn't going to last much longer. Right. Yeah. He's just about done. Terry Collins has blown a fuse here. they come. Let's see, that, that's got to be his only argument. Attack on offense is, is a great thing. Alex runs, and now he's going to get in a run down. Escobar. Come on. Boy, Alex wow. is doing his part, and now Escobar caught <laughs> in between third and home. And did he get around the tag? He did! Just the way they practice it before the game tonight. <laughs> That's just how you write it up. How about that? Alex Gordon, he took off almost like it was planned, but with one out, usually you do a play like that with two outs. You get that a was a schoolyard game of pickle. It was, and, and it was the finest job of staying in the rundown I've seen all year. Both guys, look at Escobar, gave him the move. I mean, there's some running backs in the NFL that would love that move. He just tricked Gomes, and his jock is hanging. Beautiful move right there. He missed him with the tag. Great call by the umpire, and they scored a run, and the crowd loves it here. They want a curtain call from Escobar. <laughs> when was the last? Line drive, base hit by Puig. And he's going to go for two. The throw is off the bag. He is safe. Yasio Puig barely getting there, coming off the bag, and then reaching and getting the hand on the bag before being tagged out. Is a routine single, and he made it into a double, barely hanging on. He's off the bag. That close. Pulled the hand back, and then went with the left hand, and he saved. Oh, what a what a head play, play that was. Now, naturally, Arizona is going to appeal. Segura trying to get his hand between Puig's hand and the bag. So they're going to review it. Okay, fellas. Now let's see. Safe. Well, Yasiel Puig wins the battle with Segura. 
marvelous baseball play. A lot of fastballs he has seen from his former teammate Jimenez. Scope was on the third base side of second and air mails first base. Tulowitzki made a turn toward second and jumps over Readers. What a play! You talk about improvisation. Readers was going to beat him to the bag. But instead of stepping on the bag and tagging him, Readers went to tag Tulowitzki and he jumped right over the top of him. So many things happened on this play. First of all, the shift, and it looked like it's going to be a base hit up the middle, but there's Scope, he overthrows it. But Matt Readers is hustling down that line to back up the play. He does it, recognizes he's going to be there, but look at Tulo. How about that for thinking on your feet? Unbelievable. You just can't teach these moves. No. He made a turn towards second, so he's in play. But look at the reaction. He jumps right over Weeders. And Matt can't make a play. Tries to tag him with his bare 